Hey everyone, John Reed here from Learn to Stargaze. Just a quick video today to talk about this week's conjunction of Saturn and Mars, which I won't be able to see because we're expecting a snowstorm tomorrow. Thanks, Canada. Anyway, after we talk about the conjunction, I'll share a few announcements about this channel. So as you may or may not know, Mars and Saturn are in conjunction tomorrow. Now, technically a conjunction occurs when two objects, typically the planets or the moon, share the same right ascension, which is like longitude, but in space. For our purposes, a conjunction just means that the planets will appear close together in the sky. So at about 5 a.m. local time tomorrow, April 4th, 2022, Saturn and Mars will rise together in the eastern sky. You'll also be able to see Venus. That will be the much, much brighter object in the same vicinity. At about 6 a.m., they'll be about 10 degrees above the horizon to the southeast. That's about this far at arm's length. And by 7 a.m., the sun will rise and they'll be obscured in sunlight. Keep in mind, you won't need a telescope to see this. Mars, Saturn, and of course Venus can be seen without a telescope. If you have binoculars, you'll really be able to see the color contrast between Saturn and Mars in the same field of view. And if you have a telescope, you'll be able to pick out Saturn's rings and Mars's red disk also within the same field of view. And if you miss this opportunity on April 4th, April 5th should work just as well. But after that, you'll really notice Saturn and Mars drifting apart in the sky. Okay, so on to other news. If you've been following this channel for a while, you probably noticed that the quality significantly increased late last fall. And that's because I got some help from a cinematographer named Haley. And it wasn't until she was here for several months that she informed me that she actually briefly worked on the show Cosmos, the one with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Anyway, she has since gone on maternity leave and I haven't been able to keep pace with the videos. News item number two, I have a new book coming out very soon. This is called Learn to Stargaze for Kids. This is a no telescope required introduction to the night sky. In this book, we'll go through all the popular constellations and the brightest stars. Now for each constellation, we'll highlight any deep sky objects that can be seen without a telescope from dark skies, like M8, M31, and M22. You'll learn about observing the moon phases with binoculars, following planets across the ecliptic, and so much more. Now, if you don't have any of my books yet, I recommend 110 Things to See with a Telescope. So go on Amazon and add it to your wish list, and I'm sure someone will pick it up for you for your birthday or during the holiday season. And finally, news item number three, I'm going back to school for a master's degree in space systems engineering at Johns Hopkins. Now, this is something I really wanted to pursue, and when I realized that my astrophysics degree covered all the prerequisites, I decided to apply. And what do you know? I got accepted. With this in mind, I'll do my best to keep posting to this channel, but it may only be a couple videos per month. In any case, if you like this content, please subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And remember, the future is looking up.